Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a review on the Terra Cafe TK01. And so, let's see what I have. So, we've had this for about. Mm, it's been over six months. Uh, we use it just about every day. Actually, there's a counter on here. I'll tell you exactly. Americano, 133 times. Cappuccino, 477 cups. Espresso, 215 cups. Lattes, 85. So, they also use that for warranty purposes as well, which with the warranty delivery, everything, and a pound of really great coffee. It was a good dark roast, I think from Indonesia, which is pretty awesome. It was all about $1,000. So we're just going to do a review after we've used it just about every single day. So yeah, all in all total, uh, just about a thousand dollars, and seems like a lot. And Greg, well, it is a lot, but I'll explain as to why we switched this model from the Breville, which was retail about six hundred fifty-five dollars. It was the one that had the the steam wand over here, and it grinds the coffee, puts it out, the espresso in the middle, and the steam wand onto the right. Uh, ended up selling that one, and I'll explain later. But we'll go through just the basic functions on the TK01. So on this side we have the you have your water reservoir. It's not the biggest, but it's not the smallest, and the water filter is in the back there. Okay, so once again, it has a sensor to let you know when you pull it out. And on the side here as well is where you change your milk foam, where uh, you get more foam or less foam. And actually when you go to less foam, it does uh, the temperature changes a little bit the more foam the more steam there is and so the higher the temp is and then on top you have two warming spots which actually get pretty warm I can't I can't leave my fingers on there for more than a couple seconds and then you have the bean reservoir your coffee reservoir and this little area for the for grinds and uh, yep yeah, it's a, there's a seal on there it keeps it pretty tight and then on this side, so once again, there's a sensor on that door too. You have your used coffee bin. And this is, oops, this is where the magic happens. Try to close this. So now it even knows that the brewer is missing, so it's giving us an alert. So, grinds come in here, you hear the grinder going, it spins it, it's an actual grinder, and it's a conical grinder, and it dumps the amount of coffee into here, and it gets loaded underneath here, pressurized hot water, and gets spit out into the nozzle in the front. And we rinse this about once a week, which we just did. It goes in like that, clicks the bin for used coffee. So, and then you also have a bottom drip tray. Once again, another sensor that alerts you. We just, we just dump it out and rinse it out real quick. This is a little bobber mechanism when the water fills up and that red bobber comes up, it's time to empty it out. And it's a here's the retractable head, it goes up and down, to make room for different cup sizes. And you can also pull this piece out on the side, which I guess I'll, so you can clean that separately. So the the basic menu on the front has Americano, cappuccino, espresso, latte, hot water, pre-ground, which is that little small reservoir, 
and then you have a menu button. So for an espresso machine, coffee maker, if you just want drip coffee, I use it for, sometimes I just like black, so I use the Americano and it works out really well, you know. So if you want to talk about an espresso machine and compare it to the Breville ones, you know, it's what makes good coffee. Well, you know, we like to buy organic coffee. Uh, we buy from Costco, the Ruta Maya Espresso, which, uh, the Espresso Roast, and it's organic. It's a good price for two pounds, so that's the one we typically buy. Uh, but really what makes this a good coffee machine, espresso machine, is that you can tailor it to your likings. And so if you go into the menus and the settings, all the Americano Espresso Cappuccino Latte, you can tailor the amount of water that comes out, the water temperature, the amount of grinds, and uh, how long, if it does require milk or foam, how long that's going to come out for. And so when I first got this, I made about 20 cups with the beans that we use of espresso to get that first basic down. And I like, I tailored it to the espresso that I like. And then you can go back and go through changing cappuccino. All you're changing is the amount of, you can change the amount of espresso, but typically I keep it the same, but change the amount of milk that might come out. And then you can also adjust the foam that's in the water bin side. But we leave it at a, a medium foam and it works well for lattes, cappuccinos. So that's pretty much where we leave it. And on the hot water is nice too because my kids like to make their own tea. And they also like steamers, what we call, for the milk. So we'll just do, you know, uh, steam some soy milk for them. They like that and hot water that they can use as well. And both of these functions, what's nice for this kid friendly as well, but also myself where I forget, if you tap it, it will not keep going. It'll, for about a typical mug, it will stop at the end when it gets full, whether it's milk or hot water in case you press it and you walk away. So it's a nice feature to have. Uh, haven't had any mechanical issues, uh, which I didn't expect to. I mean, so that's good. But yeah, you can tailor this to your preference of what you like and I think that's really what fine tunes of whatever you desire for your palette and that's what makes it so well and worth its value because I've had good coffee from Ikea but you know what it was really fresh it came straight from the grinder and beans to grinds and right down and really great black coffee so they could have used cheap beans but it worked out really well because it was freshly grind and ground and so it it just depends uh, so whether you you know pay thirty dollars a bag for some Kona or you pay you know ten dollars a bag at your local Starbucks is if you can tailor that to your liking then you can make a mediocre bag you know adjust it to your preference and make it that much better so uh, that's that's the value in it and this, I mean, it's an espresso machine, right? It puts out hot pressurized water through coffee. And it, I mean, that's what espresso is and that's what it does. So the biggest reason of why we went away from the, the Breville is the cleaning and the maintenance. So we had the steam wand over here that it crust up, you know, with, with milk. And even though you wipe it, right away if you want to make multiple cups you know it gets clogged and then you have to do the basket you know that you tamp and just made a big mess you have to get on the counter we always have to get a cutting board out and so you know damaging the countertop and it was just a lot more involved of making coffee and espresso and cleaning as well that took so much longer where this and the fact of the added convenience and time savings So for the aspect of cleaning, so it's very easy to just tray out, dump it out with water. But once again, you don't have to do this every time. Everything on the Breville, you have to do it every single time you made a cup of coffee. This fills up a couple times a week, depending on how much. But if you're making coffee for yourself, 
uh, one to go and one for you know uh, my wife and also to go so that's about four or five cups we'll have in the morning time you don't have to do it every time the water will last at the water tank is enough to last at one time in the morning and same thing on the on the bins it'll actually alert you when it's full and it and it knows not by any weight or any other sensor but simply the amount of times that you're making espresso so yeah and sometimes I'll just check it it's like, oh, it's not really full you know it's only a couple maybe three discs in there and then we'll just keep on going and making coffee so like I said just dumping that out in the trash dumping the water out and once a week I'll actually pull this brew right just rinse that off right? you want to be careful there is what seems like there's some kind of gunk down at the bottom over here that's actually food grade grease for the mechanisms to work properly so don't don't go wiping that down but yeah we wipe down the door a little bit uh, and you know wipe the, the the heads down here and here's a big part the milk right how it comes out all the other ones that we looked at such as like the Phillips where you have a, a container of milk, whether you got to clean, this, clean that steam one, and that's what we didn't want to do. So this one, we have two of these. One is for my wife, and this one is for me, and they're the same. We keep them both in the fridge, and this one, it just clips onto here. And you come out, take it out, whichever one who's making coffee, plug it in, and typically we're making a latte or cappuccino, and it'll suck up the milk on its own, you know, autopilot. And whenever we're done, it will even prompt you to do a cleaning. So you take that and from the from the little mini calf, milk calf, plug it into there. This is already plugged in because you just made a cup of coffee. And then you go through the cleaning of here and I'll make sure two steps, make sure it's plugged in and it confirms because it's going to pump hot water and steam out through the nozzle. It's going to pump uh, hot liquid first, and then it'll do steam after. And it's, you know, it takes about 10 seconds, and you're done. And you pull it out, and put it back on your milk curve, and put it back in the fridge, you know, and on you go. So very, it's a huge time savings uh, if you're used to using other espresso machines. And that's what we really love about it. It's... It's easy to clean. It runs on autopilot with all these buttons. You just press it and go. And keep different milk carrots around. Cleaning that is easy as well. So yeah, very convenient and time savings. So uh, for that, yeah, uh, we really like it. And pretty happy with it. And they do offer really great coffee. We bought a couple of bags, but I mean, it was getting pretty pricey. And I was like, you know, once again, we wanted something consistent, so this was the supply we had closely available to us at our Costco. They always have the Ruta Maya and the espresso blend, and it's organic. So, and we buy two bags, two pounds at a time. So, yep, I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. And uh, this is the Terra Cafe TKO one, not affiliated with the Mints whatsoever. There was a gentleman who has a tech channel, and I found this one through him. So he had a really great video, so just wanted to share mine as well. Uh, but yeah, we're not affiliated with them, but it's a, it is a quality product, uh, solid built. And we got us obviously in the white plastic. It's easy to see all the stains, but very easy to clean up here when you get splatters of, uh, of coffee. So yeah. hope you like it. If you have any questions, just uh, uh, leave it in the comments. Thanks. Bye.